There is an elephant in the room and we need to talk about it. Um, could we add just like a big animated elephant sliding into frame in post? Thanks. What the fuck? has happened to my accent. If you haven't been watching my videos for very long, then maybe you haven't noticed any change. Or maybe if you have been watching my videos for a long time, then it's been so gradual that it's kind of like that saying about boiling a frog. You know, it's like if you put a frog in boiling water, it'll jump straight out. But if you put a frog in cold water and slowly turn up the heat, then it won't realize and it'll get boiled. Although apparently it turns out that isn't true. Frogs aren't stupid. And also, why are you boiling a frog? Basically, my accent has gone through some changes over the years. And I know why, but I'm a bit embarrassed about the reason. Let's journey back to one of my first ever YouTube videos. So yeah, I'm home from Reading. And once again, I am vlogging in my bathroom because it has nice lighting. Um, this is my new jacket. YouTubers meet new jacket. Jacket, YouTubers. Now this is roughly what I should sound like in life, I think. I'm from Surrey, so I think I sound a bit like posh Surrey, a bit regular Surrey, a bit London, because at my school people were from like all over the place. And by all over the place, I mean Surrey and London, a richly diverse upbringing. Not everyone at my school was a posho, basically. Try to ignore the hair. I know it's extremely hard. So if that was kind of normal and what made sense for me, what went wrong from there? Well, I started hanging out with a lot of people from London and Essex. I basically spent my later teen years making friends with YouTubers. What a loser. During this time, I um, briefly dipped into having a Midlands accent because I was dating somebody from the Midlands, but there isn't any video evidence of that that doesn't have him in it too. So, you know, not gonna open that can of worms. <sighs> we'll always have the fan drawings on DeviantArt. But yeah, I went pretty London and then my voice got really low. I don't know why. It was so low that it was like a thing people would comment on and notice that I had a really low voice for a woman. I still think my voice is relatively low, but it's not that noticeable. I find this footage really hard to watch because right now it seems really put on and affected, but that's genuinely how I was talking. That was my natural speaking voice. I know it's been a while since we've had a proper chat, so I'm gonna make this quite a quick one. Mainly because I'm at university now, as you might be able to tell from the shit lighting and the different background. Fucking hell. Fix. A lot of you have been asking me if I had a good New Year's because I told you that I was trying to break the bad New Year's curse this year, and it wasn't great. It was okay. I was also dating somebody who had a heavier London accent for the first couple of years of uni. At uni I lived with someone northern, but that didn't take. I was also living with and hanging out with people from the kind of Oxford area. So I think that reigned in the London a bit, and dare I say it, I went back to being semi-posh. A little while ago I made a video about the crappy things that I like, the embarrassing things that I like, you know, like my guilty pleasures that I don't really feel that guilty for. When I was a young warthog um, of schooling age, I went to a grammar school it was an all-girls grammar school, it was quite strict, and they had very set ideas about what students should be. And my voice got higher again. Why? Why? It stayed that way for a while, and then I started going to LA every summer and speaking more to my friends in America. And I got a bit of, like, not a full accent, but there were Californian inflections, and there still are. I've actually done my hair today, but in case that gives you the impression that I have my life together, I also just threw up in my mouth little bit before I started filming. My voice started going up a lot at the end of sentences and my speech got a bit like lazier and stretched out and the words all blend into each other a bit more as you can probably hear. And that is not typical of a kind of Surrey British accent because it's a little bit more clipped like this. So then that brings us to last year when I started dating someone from New Zealand. Holy shit, it's been a nightmare. When I speak, I don't hear it. And even when I edit my videos back, I still don't hear it. But apparently I now sound a bit Australian or Kiwi or whatever. Just like a weird mix of accents that make no sense. I think it's actually less pronounced when I film because I'm thinking more about how I sound and like speaking to a camera. But in life, I have had people actually from New Zealand ask me if I'm from New Zealand or from Australia. So as you can tell, I take on the accents of the people around me and I always have done. So I think from this, we can conclude that I am a sponge with no sense of identity who clings to other people and slowly steals their souls. Or I am extremely empathetic and therefore likely to take on the traits of those around me because I just feel for them. 
so deeply, or maybe it's a bit of both. I've had a lot of people comment about my accent, which is why I wanted to make this video to like acknowledge and explain it. It's also very self-indulgent because I just wanted to like take a look back and see where it all came from. But I think it's kind of interesting and weird. So yeah, I don't know, do you hear it? Where do you think I sound like I'm from? Am I alone in my weird accent chameleoning? Fingers crossed that my next boyfriend is Scottish. I reckon I'd quite like a Scottish accent. Just kidding, current boyfriend. <laughs> I hope he's Irish.